Yes, folks, mission accomplished. Right, this is where I do need your help, though. I don't know where that footage is. I saw Siraj actual coverage there, so uh, he should have something. And there were some other guys definitely filming it, definitely filming the whole thing. Um, but I don't know where it is. And this is part of the point, is that when Tommy gets arrested, everyone's filming it and it becomes a big news story. I've just gone and done the same thing at his event and not only that, everybody cheered. The entire crowd cheered to watch me get arrested for expressing a different viewpoint. And I think that this is worth talking about. I think that this is a news story in itself. I think if Tommy can talk about two-tier justice and how hard done he's been, maybe it's my turn. <laughs> got a lot of lovely people here from across the country. We also got people coming from uh, Canada, US, Israel, every Fuck off. I am out of London, having followed the police instructions to get the hell out of Westminster for 24 hours. I'm not legally allowed to be there, so I've come home. And I would like maybe Lewis Brackpool, maybe the voice of Wales, maybe James Harvey, Resistance GB for sure. I know Correct Not Political's down there. I know Siraj, actual coverage is down there. I know loads of people who are down there. And I would like somebody to just sort of help me publicize my story about how I was removed from a protest about two-tier policing and freedom of speech for speaking loudly about the campaign against anti-Semitism. The police removed me and placed me under arrest or whatever this is defined as, told me to get out of the area because they thought there was a risk to my safety. They did not think that I was a risk to anybody else's safety. They didn't believe there was any risk of me thumping anybody else, but they did believe I would get punched in the face for talking about the campaign against anti-Semitism. The very group that instructed the Met Police to arrest Tommy Robinson. There you go.